Hello everyone, I'd quickly like to deal with the Revit, um, the BIM interoperability tools and the um, codes that you could manage within um, a family library. So just to recap quickly, if we use the BIM interoperability tools, we can set it up so that you use a certain country standards, maybe Unit Class 2015 database, I assign that to the project. What it does, creates project parameters which you'll be able to see if you go to your manage tab, you look at the project parameters, now it's created these parameters over there. You'll find them attached to the doors, for instance, in the type properties right at the bottom over there under the classification data. And that's great, so they are type properties. If I wanted to assign to the specific type a code, I would then go to the interoperability tools, and I would assign that, and based on the class of the family, um, it will then filter out the classifications that I could possibly attach. In this case, we're just going to go to the component and the PR table. Now I can see it's opening products, openings. There's some door sets. I'm going to choose door sets, yes, just for argument's sake, and say assign, and then close. And what you'll see is in the type properties of this element now, it would have assigned the codes for the PR number and the PR description for door sets. That's great. However, this is not true for all of the types now, is it? Yeah. Let's have a look. What exists? Nothing. All right. So, in that case, how could how could I possibly manage this within the family itself? All right. Also note that if I edit this family and I have a look at the properties, none such properties under data exist. All right. So it's a project parameter. It's project uh, parameters, and they exist within project only. But maybe I'll for future usage, I just want to have the codes attached to this family in any case. Right, let's create a new shared parameter file to export to. Manage shared parameter file. Okay, that one doesn't exist. So we create a new one. And we could save that as Shared parameter to .txt. Okay. And let's go back to our project parameters and then we'll be able to modify and then export. Since we've got a project, uh, a shared parameter file set now, we can export this parameter that's a unit class PR number. Okay. And we also do that for the PR description. Modify, export, it's appended to that. Shared parameter file, we say OK. And then if we edit the family, or we can go to the parameters over there, we can add new a new parameter from our shared parameter file. Yes, we can select the PR description, we can add that under data, to type parameter OK, and another one, then we can add the number. Okay, we can also list it under data. All right. So you would want to do this with all of the parameters and codes that you want to manage with your project. Of course, you can also automate that using Dynamo. Just note, if you are going to do this, then have a look at the shared parameter file and just note that this GUID that is generated for the, the parameter is unique. So you shouldn't create these parameters with the same name and then include it because it won't it won't be the same GUID. You have to export the parameter from the project so that you get the same GUID that is used within the families. All right. right, so then we're going to save this family, save, and then um, I'll just save it over here and then uh, load into project and uh, close. And I'm going to overwrite the existing version with the result that if I go and look at the parameters, the type parameters, I can find that the classification PR is still set for that type. However, if I change out the type to something else, then I'll see once again it's not there. All right. So the way that I manage this, so edit the family. I 
go to the parameters. Now for argument sake, all of the types have exactly the same description. So I'll go over there and paste that in. So what do you want? Text. So just close it. Then. Quotations. Now by doing that, I'm applying it across all the types. Copy this. I say apply. And once I do that, it'll be the same for all of the types. I can delete this now. And then if I switch out between different types, I can see the code's been applied to all of them. Right. So this shape parameter has now been added to the family. And in, in addition to that, in addition to that, it has it's consistent with the door within the project. Right. Uh, you can see at the top. And the result of all of that is if I did create a schedule, a door schedule, then I'd be able to pick up the parameters that I want. So if, um, family type. And then I'd also have the classification, VR description, and number available to me. And I'll say OK. And you can see it picks it up. Right. I'm going to just do that with the window. Clear the walls and the doors down. Schedule in the same multi category schedule. Let's have one of the windows there. And we can attach a code. Window units assign. Close. There's the multi category schedule. So now you can see how the GIDs are the same and they appear on the same schedule. Right. So everything within the project will now schedule correctly under one column. If the, geo, if the shared parameter was um, created in a different text file but with the same name, then we would have two PR descriptions and two PR number columns and you don't want that. Well, I hope this has been instructive for you how to manage um, codes within family libraries should you need to and if you need any help with that just contact us here at micrographics and we can assist you until next time enjoy your rate bye